Hey everybody, this is Martin, and this is video number two of the Slingshot 30M Mechanical Forex System. At this point, you should have already watched video number one. In that video, I explain and go into a lot of detail on how the system works and some highlights. So it's a very important video for you to watch so that you can understand the trade examples that I'm going to be showing you in this video. We're going to take a look at quite a few trade examples that uh, will make it a little bit more apparent how the system works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to look at here is the pound dollar pair. This is a great British pound, US dollar, 30 minute chart. I'm actually using MetaTrader and I'm going to be using that throughout this training. I think it's a great platform. I use it myself and I definitely recommend that you do so as well. Not to mention it is a free download through quite a few brokers. You could even set up, you know, a demo account and do a demo trade with it. So definitely recommended. So what I want to do here is let's go ahead and get started with trade number one. The first thing that we look for is the setup bar, right? So in this example, this would be the setup bar. The thing that you got to keep in mind here that I mentioned in the first video, every single bar can be a setup bar. And actually every single bar is a setup bar. Not every bar following a setup bar will be an entry bar necessarily. But every single 30 minute bar is a setup bar. So here we've got our setup bar. And the next bar, this would be an entry bar. Why is it an entry bar? Well, because we see here the close of the setup bar. And then we see the market opening very close to the close of the setup bar. Then the market penetrates the low of the setup bar. Then it reverses and crosses the close of the setup bar. And that's what we're seeing right here. Okay. And we would have entered here. Let me see here. The close was 1.4378. So we would have entered one pip above that. 1.4379. Okay. Then we would have exited at the close of the entry bar. And you can see the close of that is at 1.4570. Okay. So we made close to 100 pips on this trade. Most trades, honestly, you're not going to make 100 pips. So this is kind of an extreme example. But on this trade, we would have made 100 pips. Now, after the entry here, we would have immediately placed a stop loss at one pip below the lowest point of the entry bar. And that would be, you know, somewhere around here. So let's go ahead and move on to the next example. We exited here. And actually, this becomes a setup bar, right? Remember, every bar is a setup bar. So the entry bar that we just exited from has now become our setup bar. Now, this bar over here, this actually would have been an entry bar. And the reason for that is because the market, if you would have looked at a one-minute chart, you would have seen the market going up, and then you would have seen it reverse, and we would have entered below. We would have shorted here, right? because it's below the close of the entry bar. But the market reversed again, and then we would have hit our stop loss, and right here we would have lost about 18 pips. For the next bar, a trade, there was no entry point here. Okay, The, the previous bar was a setup bar, but it did not trigger an entry point. Again, this becomes a new setup bar. Next, though, this does become an entry bar. Okay, because the market opens real close to the close of the setup bar. Then the market penetrates the high of the setup bar. Then it reverses. We enter a short trade one pip below the close of the setup bar. And the close of the setup bar is 1.4637. So we entered at 1.4636. Then we immediately place our stop loss one pip above the high of this bar, which in this particular case, we're looking at about uh, 1.4658. And then the market goes in favor of the trade and we exit at the close of the entry bar. And it closes at 1.4567. So we made, you know, in this trade also, we made a pretty good profit. Then we made another small profit on this trade and on the next one, another small profit. I don't really need to go over why because we just looked at why this is all working. But this entry bar and this entry bar, we made 
you know, not a big profit, not huge, but we made a decent profit. There's a couple of other examples here, too. I'll just tell you about them. Uh, on this one, I looked at the one-minute chart. We made some money on this, not a whole lot, but uh, we did make a profit. On another one over here, and I apologize, you can't see all of these, but um, I looked at the one-minute chart. We actually lost about 14 pips on that one. On another one over here, we broke even. And then on this one, we made around 40 pips on this one. But that's what we're looking for is steady, constant, and small gains. Uh, let's take a look at some other examples, though. I want to show you. I'm going to kind of rearrange my screen here and get this set up to take a look at some other examples. What I want to show you is some U.S. dollar and yen examples. I'm going to go through this real quick. I know because you already you already understand the logic of how it works. This entry bar we made money, okay, and again. On this entry bar right here, the trade closed profitably. We made about um, you know twenty something pips on that one. On this entry bar right here, we broke even. Let's go ahead and move this over a little bit more. On this entry bar right here, we made about fifteen pips on that. On this entry bar right here, we actually lost about seven pips on that one and then on this one we made about eight pips so also from this you can see the dollar yen is less volatile than the pound dollar so in that case the profits are smaller but also your stop loss is going to be smaller and before I wrap things up here let's go ahead real quick and look at a few examples of the euro US dollar Now, on, in this case, on this entry bar, we made about 40-something pips on this one. On this this entry bar here, we actually didn't lose money. I looked at the one-minute bar chart on that one. And the same thing goes for all the rest of these entry bars. Over here on this one, uh, this entry bar here, a nice profit of 30-something pips on that one. And then on this one over here, we made, I think... About 20, 20 pips on that. So this is a really good strategy. Now, you're not going to make money on every single trade, but it has a seriously high accuracy rate. And if you manage your money well, uh, it's fairly easy to you know accumulate a good income. So I hope you enjoyed the system. I hope you implement it. And as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me. This is Martin. Take care and happy trading.